It's the same monster that these Me Too bitches was trying to tell you about. But they hate the monster for how it fucks. And I hate that monster for how it eats. But my God. Trust him as much as the way Sean says they were best friends after he was dead. No, I didn't see that during the time we were working with him. Thousand dollars to perform a hit on Biggie Smalls. March 1st of 1997, I was approached by Diddy to perform a hit. Have he ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? Mm -hmm. He must be the luckiest motherfucker because it seems like everybody that worked at Uptown Records from the very beginning is all gone. Get ready to buckle up, people, because comedian Dave Chappelle just dropped a bombshell on the entertainment industry. He's convinced that Hollywood's bigwigs are scheming to take down none other than rap superstar Kanye West. But hold on to your hats, folks, because Chappelle isn't one to shy away from speaking his mind, and he's the only one brave enough to call out this conspiracy. His interview has caused quite a commotion in Tinseltown, leaving some wondering if his claims are legit. But let me tell you, dear readers, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. So sit tight and keep your eyes peeled, because we're about to witness some explosive developments. What is happening in Hollywood? that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. Dave Chappelle, the man himself, has recently spilled the tea about his close pal Kanye West. Apparently, Easy has been making some waves in the entertainment industry by calling out certain powerful folks for their sketchy practices. But as you all know, standing up to the powers that be isn't always smooth sailing. According to sources, Kanye's big mouth has landed him in hot water with some of these bigwigs. They see him as a threat to their power and are willing to do whatever it takes to silence him. It's pretty messed up, but that's the harsh reality of the industry, folks. But wait, there's more. Chappelle, who's been around the block in Hollywood for quite some time, has also spilled some major beans about how the elites operate. In a candid chat with the Queen herself, Oprah Winfrey, Chappelle revealed how he faced immense pressure early on in his career and how certain individuals tried to control him. His confessions have sent shockwaves across the globe and got everyone talking. Chappelle is no fool. He's always had his eyes wide open to the shady stuff going on in the entertainment biz. That's why he's been strategic in choosing his battles. He's seen some sketchy stuff go down, and he's not afraid to speak out about it. I've heard the stories of what happens, and I've seen these kinds of things play out. I'm taking this medicine, man, because I know how these people be trying to control you or, or maybe discredit you. I was According to the man himself, his personal experience has taught him to keep his distance from these malevolent individuals. He's witnessed firsthand how they manipulate situations and use all sorts of dirty tactics to control people, even resorting to incorrect diagnosis or medication. And if that doesn't work, they'll just label the person as crazy crazy and write them off like it's nothing. Remember when Connie spilled the beans about the industry disappearing people and sacrificing them, and everyone thought he was crazy? Well, folks, it looks like Yeezy might have been onto something after all. Yeezy fans have stood by their idol through thick and thin saying, I've never doubted Kanye up to this day. I believe everything that comes out of his mouth. Another added, the industry is wicked to the death. If you've been keeping tabs on the news, you probably know that Kanye West's recent appearance at the Paris fashion show caused quite a stir. The man himself faced backlash for wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt, but did he back down? Nope, not even a little bit. He continued to express his polarizing views, and as a result, some people are starting to distance themselves from him. In fact, Yeezy even took to the public stage to accuse P. Diddy of abandoning him when he needed support the most. And now, it seems that Diddy has had enough of Kanye's antics and is threatening to make an example out of him. Hold on to your hats, folks, this is going to be a bumpy ride. But wait, there's more. Kanye is claiming that Diddy and Drake got into a full-on brawl at Easy Yeezy Season 1 fashion show, with Jay-Z having to step in to break it up. Can you believe the drama? It's like we're watching an episode of Real Housewives, but with more bling and better music. Kanye West is back at it again, speaking his mind and not holding anything back. In his latest appearance on the Lex Fridman podcast, episode 332, Yeezy shared his unfiltered opinions on a range of hot topics, including the media, anti-Semitism, and the U.S. election. Despite knowing that his outspoken nature could potentially impact his career, he continues to speak his truth. During one of his typical off-the-cuff rants, Kanye briefly mentioned an incident that occurred backstage at his Yeezy Season 1 fashion show in February 2015. Apparently, things got heated between Diddy and Drake, and Yeezy was right in the thick of it. Can you imagine being a fly on the wall for that one? It's just another day in the wild world of Kanye West. 
This fashion show was so popular that Justin Bieber had to sit in the second row. Kanye says, at that time, Puff Daddy had beef with Drake, Drake still came to the show and Jay-Z had to break up the fight backstage. Netizens also seem to believe Kanye's claims but a few of them are worried about his life and are now hinting that Kanye shouldn't spill Diddy's secrets. He's starting to tell other rappers business, he might not be around breathing for much longer, especially Diddy's little secrets. I'm just saying, he didn't hold back on the Lex Fridman podcast and expressed his opinions more explicitly than ever, causing quite a stir. Some of his statements were so controversial that the interview was taken down from YouTube. But that hasn't stopped people from talking about it. One of the most striking statements that he made was about Jay-Z. He called him out for not visiting his family after Kim Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in Paris. It's safe to say that he isn't afraid to speak his truth and isn't worried about ruffling some feathers along the way. According to Enemy, while on his St. Pablo tour in Seattle, West told the crowd, don't call me after the robbery and say how you feel it. He want to know how I feel it. Come by the house. Bring the kids by the house. Like we're brothers? Let's sit down. He added, I can't take this shit, bro. Our kids have never even played together. During West Sacramento show, he went after Jay-Z again. Call me? Breath, you still ain't calling me. Jay-Z, call me. I, bruh, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. Shortly after his performance, West was admitted to a hospital for exhaustion and forced to cancel the rest of his tour. Meanwhile, a source had told Page Six that Jay-Z was only able to deal with West for a limited amount of time. Jay can't stand him, they said. He looks at him as this crazy, eccentric mother. This marked the start of the spectacular ascent and epic rift between two of the most renowned pop stars in the world, Jay-Z and Kanye West. During another interview on Charlemagne Thaw God's podcast, West revealed that his strained relationship with Jay-Z escalated after the Carters didn't attend his wedding. He revealed, I was hurt about them not coming to the wedding. I understand they were going through some things, but if it's family, you're not going to miss a wedding. By the way, you should know that as of the time of the interview, West had apparently not yet talked directly to Jay-Z about the whole thing. The 99 Problems rapper added, You know it's a problem because me and him would have been talked about it, then resolved our issues. And he knows cross the line. He knows. And I know he knows. Pause, we've never let this much space go between one of our disagreements and we've had many. That's part of who we are. Well, most people were behind Kanye on this one because they think it's obvious that Jay-Z's intentions are not pure. One of them tweeted, The Jay-Z Kanye feud goes deep. Kanye West has never one to shy away from discussing the darker aspects of the music industry. In fact, he's made some pretty bold claims that have caused a stir. Right now, go to Apple Music. Let's load up the top 10 songs. I guarantee you they're promo promoting black serial killing. Absolutely. He has explicitly stated that the media profits off the sacrifices of black people and that the system silenced him as a result of his statements. But, despite the pushback, the public greatly respects Kanye for standing up against this cruelty. And let's be honest, these concerns are not baseless. Black artists and rappers are consistently being violently killed, and it would be naive to believe that there is no connection to the culture promoted through their music. It's about time someone spoke up about it. That's with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours. The music industry has been criticized for exploiting young black men by pushing them towards violent and drug-related themes in their music, solely for profit. Kanye West is one of the few public figures who has spoken out against this exploitation. Not just one, they're promoting black, the red media is making money off of blacks being serial killers to each other. Also misogynistic. The alarming number of black artists being killed is a testament to the dangerous culture promoted through their music. However, rap is more than just a genre of music. The media's harmful portrayal of black people has a devastating impact on the black community. Record labels are also to blame for encouraging this destructive behavior. When black artists rap about drugs and violence, it generates buzz and puts them in the spotlight, which is exactly what the labels want, exposure at any cost. This strategy has dire consequences that extend beyond damaging the reputations of these artists. It promotes the use of drugs and guns in the black community, fueling a cycle of self-destruction. It is important to recognize the dangerous situation happening and take action. Kanye's claims are becoming more and more true as black artists are facing more danger and distress than ever before. This issue can no longer be ignored. It is imperative to remove these harmful elements from the music industry before it's too late. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.